Hello everyone. Welcome welcome back to uh the Bingo League. Um we had we had a little bit of technical difficulties with uh Discord going down, but uh we did manage to uh get everything up here. Um so we are a little bit behind the uh the schedule starting time, but that that that's all right. Um but yeah, today we have uh uh the Booty Clippers versus the Event Crew. Um, which is going to be a pretty hype match. I, I feel like, um, Tethys and Yurasu having more wins under their belt, but, uh, more losses as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be a very interesting match, I feel like. Hello everybody, Divu here. Um, we have a pretty interesting match here as well. The Dark Goals actually don't even go that far into the story, so we should see those sort of like wrap out pretty soon, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, the Dark Goals are pretty I, fast. Here. They only go to Sky Rail, right? Am I am I wrong about that? No. Uh, yeah, Sky Rail, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean yeah, that's Sky Rail M4A very... rank. Yeah, and um, they they grab a hundred rings while they're at it, they can grab both of those. So yeah, and like then getting to Sky Rail as fast as possible is gonna be pretty essential for the dark players. Yeah, to be fair, there's also things like uh like uh Route 280, which you have to go through first. So it might be beneficial to not do that and like go quit out for like uh, say like weapons bed M four A rank or something like that and then I, I, maybe that's actually not uh, not a good idea. I don't know because you can grab both of those Sky Rail missions like at once because it's yeah. like only hundred rings and uh, the A rank M4. Um, so you can grab two right there. Um, I think that um, if somebody's having a bad run, it'll be smart for them to exit out and do missions um, earlier on than usual. But 
Um, but yeah, this is going to be whoever can get to Skyrim and story faster for the dark side, at least. Yeah, the hero side has a lot of like missions and stuff, so uh, it's going to be like pretty pretty interesting to see like Death Chamber M4 uh, B rank, and then Meteor Herd M5 A rank, and then we got Meteor Herd M3, Metal Harbor M2, Pumpkin Hell M2. Um, so uh, my my prediction is we'll probably see the runners quit out after Pumpkin Hill, um, which is usually what the strat is, and then they'll do the earlier hero missions, and then they'll go back into the story, and then um, and then probably just sweep up the rest from there. Yeah, it'll be essential for Dark Runners to do um, sand walking because of Doctor Eggman Mystic Melody. Um, that'll pretty much be an essential thing to grab as soon as possible. So, um, Drum okay. will have a pretty big advantage on Urasu for that, because I don't think Urasu does sand walking that often, if I remember correctly. I think he does know it. I think he knows it, yeah, but I don't know if he does it all the time, I guess, is where I'm getting at. Yeah, I, ha- I haven't watched his attempts in a while, so I haven't... Yeah, me neither, so I'm not gonna speak from... I'm not gonna say that as fact by any means. Yeah, I don't know. There are a lot of these dark missions that, like, exiting out early on could be beneficial for. But yeah, it's 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 interesting. I feel like, I mean, I mean, a lot of it is like in the story, right? Because like, headquarters in one hintless radical highway with one hundred ring. Uh, there's sky rail with one hundred ring security hall and one lost colony with two chow boxes. It's like all yeah. pretty story driven. So who's ever just like ahead in story is going to grab all of these dark missions? Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see what what else here. Uh, there's there's not gonna be CE skip probably because uh there's two chow boxes in city escape, so it is gonna be like a skipless race. Um, so right off the bat, we are gonna have a, a goal race. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Unless one of the two um runners opts to not grab that goal, so they can get ahead in story. Um, yeah, which could be a play like that if you wanted that to could be further a ahead than and the other than in story. I imagine if, if if one of the two would be best for doing that, I I believe it would be Tethys. He does have the slightly worse PB. I believe it's about a minute worse than Deku's. Um, so statistically, it would be uh, better for Tethys to maybe skip out on that goal and try to get as far ahead of the story as possible, but um. I, it, it, it still would not be a bad idea to try and go for it. Yeah, either way. Because who knows, maybe the other person's thinking the same thing and then all of a sudden you get yourself a free goal. Yeah. Um, or or maybe just Deku like messes up somewhere and then you just like can grab a, grab a goal real quick, easily. Um, let's see, what else is here? Finish any mission with 25 lives is actually going to be pretty interesting. Um, cause it, again, again it I think that's going to be a dark right? story race because I think that whoever gets to, um, Sand Ocean first is just going to jump in, grab the uh, life exit out over and over again. <laughs> yeah, not to mention there's game over during Mission Street M1, so it'd be really slow for the hero runner to go for that. Yeah, I guess it'll be interesting to see if the dark, whatever dark runner goes for that, will they go for it first? Yeah. Like, will they try to grab all those? I guess but not, in, because because they have to watch the, the over and over again. There's there's also the argument of like, um, dark sometimes kind of like requires more live use, which which is true. Um, but I I feel I feel like if you if you have a good enough run, uh, at least. I, th- I think it'll still be faster for the Dark Runner to, to go for that. Yeah, 25 lives is a lot. No matter how good your hero run is, I don't see you getting up to 25 lives um, like yeah. in any normal playthrough. I, I think I think the highest I've gotten is like 10 <laughs> in a hero run. Yeah, I think the highest I've ever seen is like 12 or 13. I can't remember who I was watching that had like... 13 lives. They were like exiting Death Chamber with 13 lives, so they could have even gotten more by the end of it. Well, I mean, if you go for all the M3 Chow areas, you can just get a free life in every stage. 
That's true, you could. Maybe you could work in 25 lives into Hero Story if you were slick enough about it. You you could. It'd be really slow and you wouldn't get a good hero time, but <laughs> you, you could Yeah, do I do I, I do think the way this is gonna happen is for the dark at some point the dark runners are gonna exit out a story and then just go into Sand Ocean, yeah. grab the life, exit and go back in. Because it's a like good literally idea. like one second from the from What a the good start. idea might be is um Security Hall M1 with Magnetic Shield, you could, like, go get 100 rings with that very quickly. So I'm thinking I'm thinking that uh, the runners might be able to do that, but then there's also the risk of, like, getting a safe piece and then, you know, losing... Yeah, that's life. true. Alright, looks like the runners are ready. Looks like getting ready to start. Urasu and Tethys, both with the uh, Sonic backgrounds, and Deku and Drum Basher with the default. Team Team Hero versus Team Nothing. Up here right, we looks go. like the runners are off. All right, so, so at the start our... here, uh, I'm gonna be watching City Escape because that is where the goal is. <laughs> Um, I don't. I don't think there's anything in Iron Gate really. It's just uh, both runners trying to try to get through. It doesn't look like any of them got Ethan Hump. No, no Ethan Humps here. Um, I thought Drum was gonna go for it because he grazed the the rail there, but he did not. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be who can execute uh, Iron Gate as fast as possible. I think the first Dark Bull in story it might actually be the Radical Highway with 100 rings. Yeah, Radical Highway, and then we have Egg Quarters right oh. after. And actually, the Egg the Eggman with Mystic Melody is going to be our first Dark Goal. It looks so like both were... it looks like Deku attempted CE skip. He was really high up, um, and then just like decided to go for skipless. I, th I think he actually did try to go for it. That is interesting. I think that costed him the goal, actually, because Tethys is going, coming up to a second. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Deku got it first. Deku got it okay. first. Okay, this is a race. Okay. Tethys kind of struggling to get up there to the chow box, so now um, it's just going to be a, a pure skipless race. Oh, Deku messing man. up. This is actually pretty tight. They're both running down the wall right now. Deku getting stuck. Oh wait, Teth that was Tethys' second one? Or only first one? He just got a second. Oh, okay, oh, so... Okay. Tethys didn't go for the first child box in the level, then. It's the one uh, at the top of the... What would you even call that? Um, Top staircase? of like the building. The staircase, yeah. So this is looking like it's going to be Deku's, and Drum Basher is exiting Iron Gate pretty significantly far ahead here. What is that? Is that a 58 or a 56? I can't tell. Uh, it looks like a 56. That's really good. Yeah, that's an insane time. Yep, that is a 56. Wow. Let's go drum. Yeah. Yarsu getting yeah. a 202, which is not as great, but um, seeing as this is an RTA race, I don't think the IGT difference matters as much as it would in, say, a dark race. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Deku getting the first goal here. Uh, two chow boxes in Cityscape and finish. Um, what's the what's the next goal for Hero Runners? Just looking for that myself. Uh, prison Lane M1 with 100 plus rings. Alright, so we might see that before we see the first dark goal, which maybe not. It's going to depend on the RNG for Drum and Yurasu here. Um, Drum's getting owned by RNG right now. Um, Yurasu gets a piece right off the bat, so they're pretty much like tied again all of a sudden. Um, Yurasu actually being ahead. Drum getting a better first piece, though, after he finally does get the pieces. Actually so... grabbing his piece one before Yurasu can... And getting behind the rebel, this is actually looking to be a pretty good set from Drum. Yeah, is 
As long as this piece three isn't like jail, which it's not, it looks like it's gonna be on top of the palm tree. So, oh, and you're also, oh, and getting, you're also getting jail. jail. Yeah, this That's is gonna really unfortunate. Yeah, it's you're also just getting owned by RNG here. Um, I don't know if Yurasu um, will go for. I guess either way, sand walking is the better call here because it's going to get you to the goal ring faster. Mm hmm. But yeah, as long as Drum can land sand walking here, uh, I'm thinking that this is going to be um, another Booty Clippers uh, goal here. Yeah, it's it's a matter of uh, if he if he messes this up or not, really. Let's He's going see for if it. He gets it. Taking it real slow, I would too in this scenario. And he lands sand walking. Oh, first try. So Let's this go. is gonna. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I would have done the same thing. I would have taken that real nice and slow, especially since it's an RTA category. Urasu also hmm. setting up for sand walking. Let's see. Oh, that's really Not unfortunate. It though. So now we are in prison lane, so our runners are going to be trying to grab 100 rings as fast as possible. Um, I don't know um, what the ring routes are like for prison lane, so I'm not sure um, how easy or hard that is to do. Um, if they're doing the M2 route, then they're going to be uh, actually almost done already here. It's a little bit hard to read the UI. But um, coming up where, where Deku is after that elevator, um, he's going to grab a couple extra rings and then go back and take the checkpoint. Um, it looks like Yurasu, um decided that Drum... Well, no, I guess Drum already said he had the goal, so he's just going for first cycle. Yeah. Deku getting that green shield just to have a little bit of an extra safety net. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's very smart. I mean, finishing the level but not getting hit at all is a lot easier said than done. Yeah. Bob, Teth is doing the same thing. Mm hmm. Looks like both of them do have 100 rings, so, um. Looks like Teth is gonna be. or not Teth is, um. Deck is gonna be able to get this. Uh, as soon as yeah, it finishes, it's and like yep. another booty clippers goal. All right, the next the next hero goal is going to be um, I, I think it's uh, two chow boxes and green forest and finish. Unless I'm missing one, doesn't look like I am. Um, so we are going to be seeing radical highway is what we're Best focusing stage. on. Best stage. <laughs> but yeah, um. Radical Highway with 100 rings is actually very easy to do. You just have to be cautious of where you're going. Um, you can play it exactly as normal and just grab 100 rings. Mm, absolutely. I, I actually grab 100 rings by accident the way I play Radical Highway uh, occasionally. Yeah, it's it's a very easy stage to grab 100 rings in. Um, mm. You just want to... Oh, shit. Oh. Yep. That's, that's going to give Yurasu some time to catch up, which uh, he definitely needs. Yeah, exactly. Looks like I Drum think... is still pretty comfortably ahead, though. I think Drum could have grabbed 100 rings from the first checkpoint. I don't think it was impossible, but I understand Drum wanting to reset there. Yeah. It would have been I, I think I would have sure. you, you would have had to use the checkpoints, or you might have had to actually go down there. You, you would have had to go like out of your way to get the ring. Yeah. Yeah, you would have had to grab the twenty ring box, which is like not ideal. For a second, I thought he was gonna go for red Honda, and I got really hyped. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised he didn't because he went for red Honda in the race against Savic. All right. He's making sure he's going to have 100 early on here. Yes. Urasu going for mock bounce. Urasu getting okay. mock bounce, landing on the lower platform. Let's go, Urasu. I'm sure I'm getting hung up on the st storage there. I'm grabbing a green shield with shadow. That's not something you see every day. Yeah, but you just want to play it safe at this point, I would I would say. 
Yeah, I um, doubt Drum will go for Gap Jump. Actually, yeah. he might have. Uh, he might have just gotten that from the. From the checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah. 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 I thought he went out of his way for a second to. Get oh that no! Jump. No. <laughs> that would have been cool though. I think Urasu did the same thing. Grab that twenty coming down the thing. Mm hmm. All right, that's going to be another goal for the booty clippers. Um, and then I think good. we're I think we're going to see uh, Ed Quarters and one hint was before we see uh, Green Forest two chow boxes come into play. Yeah, uh, I think I think we'll see that done as well. Yeah, because um, Ed Quarters is a pretty fast stage. It's probably one of the faster hunting stages, um, at least to do hintless because. <coughs> Because it, it's literally just a circle. You, you run around and you'll find your piece eventually. Yeah, it's it's a very small stage, honestly, like square footage wise. No free pieces for drum. Uh, Deku loading into green forest. Uh, it looks like uh, Tethys is also doing this, but he does have to watch the cutscene first. Yeah, the, the good old fake. No, this is not the fake cutscene, but. You have to be real careful not to press B around these hints. Ooh, Drum getting an altar piece one. That is the worst case scenario right now. Yeah, that's not ideal. Probably gonna be. A, I'm guessing blue piece two. Yeah, blue piece two. Beautiful fish ladies. Okay. And then uh, going to red room for his piece three. Let's see if it pays off. No. Ooh. That's probably green then. Maybe it's glowing hieroglyphics. Nope. It is just straight up green. What is it? Is it? A ch oh, is it chip metal? Oh, oh that's God. so bad. That's the what worst is... possible set you could have gotten. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. He does get the goal though, so that is going to be another goal for the Buddha Clippers. And I believe that Dark is done for a little bit with goals. No, actually, Lost Colony um, with two Chow Boxes comes up right after this. So. Oh yeah, okay, I didn't see that. Deku going for Green Forest Wall Run, hitting it, going for Task Run actually. Wow, that's impressive. And then getting hit by the robot. All right, so we have Tethys with the second Chow Box here, I think. Did uh, Deku get two Chow Boxes? I missed, uh, I wasn't really watching. I don't know. It didn't look we'll like We'll find it. out. I guess uh, it looks like did. looks like he clicked the goal, so I guess he did. So that is going to be a another goal for the Booty Clippers. It's going to be 6-2-0 oh right now. Yeah, and then um, Drum will grab, there's the two child boxes in the stage are actually really easy to grab while you're playing through the level. There's one uh, up here, yeah, like right over here, and then the other one is pretty much like right after you grab the hover upgrade. So they're like right next to each other. Yeah, I, I, I've actually seen people in dark runs accidentally grab the child key from this child box. It's very easy to do, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, Pumpkin Hill. Does Pumpkin Hill have anything? I see your uh, Deku restarted. I guess he just got a restart piece. Yeah, no, the only Pumpkin Hill I see is Pumpkin Hill M2. Yeah. But yeah, so I think we'll either see Drum exit before Route 280 because he doesn't want to play through Route 280 and grab gold, or he'll um, or he'll um, play through it because there's two Sky Rail goals you could grab. Yeah, there's also Route 280 M2, which is a very easy, fast goal. That's true. That is a really fast goal. Um, I, I also just noticed that there's a Security Hall M1 with a magnetic shield, so that's something that runners could do as well during a regular playthrough. 
All right, Deku's loading into Mission Street. So what I'm going to assume here is Deku's going to game over in Mission Street, and then he's going to start doing Mission. So uh, let's see. Let's see if he does that. And it looks like Drum is finishing up Lost Colony. Gonna get Lost Colony with two chow boxes. And Deku clicking uh, Mission Street. Yep, he's going to missions. So let's see what he does. He does Metal Harbor M2 first. Yeah, this is the play. This is what I was thinking too, because it mm -hmm. it's pretty easy goal to just grab. It's super oh, you know fast. What? I thought that Meteor Herd was also Metal Harbor, so never mind. I actually. <laughs> thought that it was Metal Harbor M2 and then Metal Harbor M3 you could grab, which would be pretty insane. He has Light Dash. Oh, he's doing it to grab extra rings. Yeah. I don't know the M2 for this, so... He's doing it right. Yeah, he got oh, it. There you go. Tethys is actually deciding to play Mission Street out. Well, at this point, Tethys already knows that uh, they mm. have the goal, so I He's think He's probably Tethys... just going for the, yeah, the story progression and not yeah, risking... Exactly, this is Tethys' uh, chance to uh, grab some goals that uh, Deku can't. Hmm. But kind That's of surrendering all the mission up. goals. Yeah, that's probably what Yurasu's thinking as well. Um, if I had to guess, because uh, if I were Yurasu at this point, I would just say go at least do the dark missions, because in a situation like this, it, it, it seems pretty dire. You're, you're going to want to start like thinking about going for that goal differential. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Honestly, if I was Yurasu, I might have exit exited out to grab at least dry lagoon m2 by this point mm -hmm. um but maybe not though i don't know because there's really like not a lot of early on like white jungle m3s here like everything coming up is like all late stuff yeah, so i think your also just has to hope that drum makes some mistakes Stage. i think that's really what which like sadly drum basher is not one to make mistakes unless it's a bungee skip <laughs> yeah, and th there's no there's no lost colony in this board, so uh, there's just really not not a lot of uh, hope here. Yeah, no cosmic walls for Bunky skips to happen. Maybe one day. All right, so here's security hall. Here's another goal that we should be able to see here. Yeah, I know there is a magnetic shield uh, in the top room. I think that might be the only magnetic shield in the stage. What's what goal is uh, Deku going for right now? Drum getting protect blue, so he's um, automatically going to the top room. Let's see if he goes ahead and gets the magnetic shield here. Next to the cardboard box. Oh, should probably. Oh wait, yeah, yellow piece. I'm. Brain. I haven't played Dark in a bit. Oh! There we go. That's it. He's doing the guaranteed lives for the 25 lives. That's what Deku's doing. Oh! Yeah, that's that's actually really smart. Thanks, Seafood. you well, a lot so of people. <laughs> a lot of people tend to go for uh, this goal with, like, um, Wild Canyon M2. So it's kind of interesting to see that uh, he's doing this. It might be faster. I think it's. I think the fastest way is probably Sand Ocean, uh, but uh, this is pretty fast. I mean, this is only three seconds. So mm -hmm. you can get like three lives. I know if you if you have Pyramid Cave M2 unlocked, you can get like three lives from that just like super quickly because like that stage takes like twenty seconds. Oh, that makes sense. But um. I think, it, I think it actually might be still slower. There's 20 seconds for three lives, and this is like... Hmm. Uh, Drum is also doing know. missions right now, so... Yeah, it looks like uh, 
they got they got security hall m1 with a magnetic shield so they literally need uh two more goals and then they're done so he's getting dry lagoon m2 and um yeah this this might just be a complete shutout i don't know if they're gonna be able to get a single goal i think the only other goal uh security hall m3 b rank i guess would be the other one to grab i guess right or it would be well i guess decky will probably grab the 20 25 lives first 25 lives and finish yeah What was Deku doing there? I don't. I maybe trying to grab another life by getting a hundred rings. I mm -hmm. oh, he was trying to get the Chow key so he could uh, uh, so he could get all of the because there's a mission that's get the Chow key with all of the hero characters. Oh, I see. I think he's trying to stack goals right now. Which wouldn't make any sense because the goal is hard locked at 13. <laughs> Can't get more than that. Yeah, at this point, like with how far ahead you are, it doesn't really it doesn't really make sense to go for any more goals than the 25 ring school. But mm -hmm. I, I this is definitely a big brain play. Yeah, and he, on. once he finishes up M2, it's just kind of That's gonna just be over, the game right? being done. Yeah, the game's gonna be completely over right now yep, that's it <laughs> gg that is incredible they have this is by far the least close match you will see in this bingo league uh in fact you can't get even less closer than this um yeah that was a complete is, utter shutout uh event crew not getting a goal booty clippers getting 13 Really, really unfortunate, but um, sometimes that's just how it goes. What's up? Or, what's up? So, uh, um, please. I mean, GG. First of all, <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on your win. Uh, but like, fucking hell! But like I said in just chat, then I don't even think me and Yarosu played that bad. Yeah, you, you, you guys, guys did. You guys did not play bad. Neither of you played bad at all. Admittedly, so, this the board was pretty weighted towards story goals, like early game story goals. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, but like, well, that's the thing, right? Like, Deku wasn't getting these goals like super early before I was. <laughs> like, he was oh, getting yeah, them, like no. a little bit before. So, like, you know, there were opportunities to like make choices and stuff that maybe could have like, like, well, actually, even then, you know, Yarasu decided way in advance. All right, no hintless. Uh, I have it to start a quarter that you, you you already got the hintless goal. I have no idea how you did that, but I guess to be fair, yeah, I have, it, I have an ID. These just ones are fucking good, but <laughs> yeah, I, I did manage to get first try sound walking, which mm -hmm. is cool. And also, just, uh, uh, what what mm -hmm. really killed you, Yurasu, is that jail piece in Dry Lagoon. Ooh. Yeah, oh, the jail no. piece was rough, and then not doing sand walking at all put you at a pretty far disadvantage to mm -hmm. drum. Yeah. Um, so like drum getting first try sand walking, and then you just opting to do first cycle after not hitting sand walking, it just put it put the scale in drum's favor like just way too much to catch up. Yeah, I did manage then, to have a th have a thirty oh. second death in radical highway, and then of course mm -hmm. that, that, that did help a little bit. But highway. you feel yeah. like it, geez. this this you, was you were still like mission I didn't need to be fair, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, that is, it was well, weird. After, after like the mission street, did you do missions or? Oh uh, no, do? I didn't. Right. So what was happening oh, was, God. um, you you beat me to the green forest one by a couple of seconds, and I was thinking, yeah. okay, uh, I'll go for the mission street, game over, just kind of all or nothing it. Uh, so I was resetting, and then. You, what like kind of RNG did you get in Pumpkin Hill? Because I did like nine extra life resets and then got rolled with um, what was the when you do something bad? I guess wrong. Oh wow, well, yeah, I got like a thirty-eight, I think. Uh, I did okay. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so yeah, then you had that, and then I was like, okay, I could go for ILs, but he's going for ILs, and yeah. that's two. That's two points versus maybe something happening in the story later on. You know, maybe yeah. Paris who can find them. It was. It was. It, I don't think. Yeah, go on. It got to a point where we were like, okay, let's try and get the thirteen O. So I was like, when do I go out to get the Dry Lagoon M two? And then Deku got like the Metal Harbor M two. Yeah, I did Metal Harbor M two because I thought you were gonna do that. And I was gonna snipe you. No, <laughs> I, I like I, I gave. Well, actually, I was thinking about it maybe, but then I was just like, okay, two <laughs> two IL goals isn't gonna win us the game. It's basically conceding defeat and going for goal difference at that point. So I'd I'd rather take a thirteen O than like give up when the score is nine O. You know? Yeah. So I was just like, yeah, why not? But at the same time, yeah, no, literally, like, decision-making wasn't bad, gameplay itself wasn't bad. Like, I don't think it's stupid for me to say that the way me and Yarasu were playing today, we could have actually, like, no. we you guys beat didn't, a couple of teams. You, you, you guys didn't, teams. um, you, you didn't play bad at all, and, like, there, there weren't we really just came up bad decisions. Just it's just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like how you didn't do they the did everything faster. Garden. Uh, that's like like a oh, good decision. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I, I also that thought goal. that was that, yeah. That goal that goal's just gonna wreck you. With if so you many go story for that, goals. that's like what is yeah. that? That's like ten seconds, three times that you're just losing in story. Yeah, that's so like much that. time. Yeah, uh, I mean, you definitely made a good decision there, so I can see like you play, you play well. Yeah, well, I mean, the thirteen zero I think is reflective of how fucking cracked you guys are. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> oh, it does thanks. hurt. Yes. But it's, uh, but it's, you know, it happens. Yeah, I was uh, how close were you in Lost Colony? Uh, I was in the elevator when you claimed the goal. It's, it's kind of mad. I don't know, what's the first 13 I hope it's not the last, because we don't want to be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there, are, there, are, there might be a few where... Uh... I, me and Seahawks still have to play Deku and Drum, so, you know. This is, this is your second game, I guess. Uh, is this your second or your third game? No, it's the third game, it. it's a third win. Third game. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you'll get revenge on Prophet and Dawn for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. GG. Yeah, uh, GG. GG's, GG's on GG's your win. The runners. GG. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for having me on comms. Yep. All right, bye, everybody. <laughs> Good to be. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess you guys choose. Let me have a look at Twitch. There wasn't anybody streaming when I when I was done. I don't know if anybody is now. Drum basher is you, you <laughs> great drum basher. Oh, actually I am gonna keep streaming, I'm gonna do boss rush. Okay, let's go. We're gonna raid drum again. <laughs> raid he drum. wins and gets the self raid. <laughs> <laughs> Gee <laughs> You gotta respect it. <laughs> Who are we raiding? Oh, Me. <laughs> 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 I guess there's not really anybody else to choose, right? There's there's nobody else on according to my Twitch. All right. That's en enjoy fun. your enjoy your raid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>